Wolf Larsen and Van Weyden are very different men. They're the two main characters of the novel, and in them we see two polar opposites. Van Weyden is an intellectual man. He does not work, and his father's fortune supports him. His hobby is literary criticism. When Larsen takes Van Weyden aboard the ship, Van Weyden is weak and not used to physical labor. Over time, however, he becomes stronger. Van Weyden is a good person. He cares for others and treats people well. He thinks that people do have immortal souls and believes that human life is valuable. He can't even bring himself to kill Larsen at the end of the book when Larsen is sick, paralyzed and still causing trouble. In the end, Van Weyden comes out on top. He doesn't die, he gets the girl, and he learns to be self-sufficient. Larsen, on the other hand, does not grow or change throughout the course of the novel. He is an intellectual man too, although he's not formally schooled. He believes that men have no responsibilities other than to survive and find pleasure. Life to him is meaningless and cheap. To this end, Larsen is not afraid to hurt and kill people for almost no reason. He attacks his crew at all times and for any reason. He's an individualist and cares for no one. He ridicules Van Biden for caring for him when he falls ill on the island. Up until the end, he is violent and rude. He never learns his lesson and goes to his grave believing that his viewpoint was the right one. Now, the real question we have to ask ourselves is this. Who is the main character, the protagonist? In order to answer this question, which is a difficult one, I admit, we have to ask ourselves what it means to be the main character in a story. One vital element is that the character is complex, which requires the character to change over the course of the novel. Find the character that changes and you have found your protagonist.